It is the first morning in our new house and this is what we're tackling today. Vinner and I brought in as much as we could yesterday. I am so sore. The first thing I'm going to do this morning is get Reagan's room set up because basically all of her stuff is in. So I'm going to mop her floor, put her room together, and then clean the bathroom. And Reagan's going to help. Yeah. So we're going to just start kind of working through all this but this has been our little setup we got some mcdonald's this morning coffee more energy drinks trying to chug water because i'm so dehydrated but we're gonna make a lot of progress today is my goal i gotta somehow find the energy but we are going to do it. I've got my bucket, I've got my mop. I've decided to use a separate bucket for the clean water and a different one for the dirty water just because I really want these floors to be clean and I don't know, I saw it online using a separate bucket so you don't mix the water and that's what I decided to do this time and it worked pretty well. Reagan had her little Melissa and Doug toy mop that was definitely not supposed to be used but I just wasn't gonna argue with her on that one and I let her help. I thought it was actually really sweet of her that she wanted to help so why can't they come out with like actual kids cleaning products like an actual kids vacuum because these kids want to help they want to clean and like why not actually make it to where they're making a difference you know what I mean so we just got to mopping the dusty floors from all the sheetrock and the paint and just all of the things that have been tracked in during the construction time. And honestly, I was probably very overstimulated during this endeavor. The kids were whining, wanting me. Reagan really wanted to help, which I appreciated, but also I was like, mm, it's kind of making it harder on me. I just wanted to like knock it out really quickly, but that wasn't the case. Um, but we survived and we got it done. People knew her by her will to make it whatever she put her mind to. But once we got all of this mopped up and pretty clean, we then dumped it in the toilet. And as y'all will see, it is quite nasty. This whole house, as we were walking around, our feet would turn a different color. My socks would turn a different color. So it was in desperate need of this mopping. Up the hill, serving coffee to strangers, talking about revenue. She kept dreaming of a world big enough for everyone. But she knew it must rain before it grows. She kept dreaming of the day, but it flies so the wheel. Even though she could knock down and never show. Reagan's room was a room with all of the components or at least most of the components in the house that I could get pretty much put together right away which made me happy because I was looking for a win so we got the rug all situated as she just you know pulled out all of the books that we had shoved in her bedside table fun fact her bedside table and her dresser were actually mine in college and I remember when I was buying them I was like I'm gonna have these for a long time like they're good quality and they're gonna be in my first apartment all these things and now my daughter gets to use them which I think is just so crazy um but yeah so she's playing with all of these books as I set up her bed I thought I was gonna need Banner's help to set up her bed but you know what when there is a will there is a way and my will was to get this room set up and that is what we did I figured out how to maneuver all of the parts to put the bed together Matter. 
Here I am trying to perfectly balance the footboard of the bed so it wouldn't fall over and I could attach the side pieces or whatever this bottom part is called. Um, thankfully, it wasn't too heavy, so it was fairly easy to maneuver. And this bed is from Pottery Barn Kids, if you are curious. Her rug is from USA, Rugs USA, I believe. And then her mattress is from Amazon. I'll try to link all of her bedroom things down below. Um, and then, yeah, we just had a little mattress cover on it that I had to take off and I plopped it on there. And then the side table that I'm about to put on is actually from Banner and I's first little house together in Georgia. I remember scouring the internet and Wayfair like planning our living room and this was one of the things that I got for it I was like this is so cool and different and here it is we're just reusing all of these things and I love how my style hasn't really changed or really how I've been able to use the pieces that we already have places um, and then I was gonna put the bedding on but this ended up being for the guest room so couldn't really do that but I did eventually find her stuff it is so much later now because Banner and I finished unloading the U-Haul. I'm so tired, but I did find Reagan's bed spread, all of her bedding and stuff. This is what her room currently looks like. We're about to bring in the dresser right here. I'll have, probably have to move over the rug a little bit because it's not quite centered, but I'm so excited for how that's turning out. And then... This is what our living room currently looks like. Banner just took the U-Haul, or he took it back like an hour ago. But this is the new load of things. Gotta get this all situated. This is in here. I'm not putting any rugs down yet because I need to mop underneath. And we had Whataburger, which, oh my gosh, I definitely had a cheeseburger french fries, a chocolate milkshake, and a Diet Coke, and I just devoured all of that because I was like, heck yeah, I deserve all of this. I am honestly ravenous for how much lifting and moving we've done, but I'm just like so shocked that we were able to do it all, just the two of us. I only wanted to cry like two or three times, but I didn't, and we made it through, and now it's just organizing and honestly most of it is just waiting for the kitchen because a lot of this is kitchen stuff and just having to go through that and then organizing where toys are gonna go and putting it all together so I definitely need to get this cleared out enough to put the dining table over here so that when the cabinets get delivered in a few days they can all go right there so I'm gonna start moving some things out of here and into their rooms but I just love it so much and I'm so happy and it's just incredible. But yeah, I'm gonna try to get this kind of set up. I really do not know how I was able to do all of these things. Just running on pure adrenaline, my body was so freaking sore after moving all of these things. Every time we move ourselves, I'm like, I can't do that again. But somehow after three kids, I'm still doing it. And Banner and I are still moving all this heavy furniture by ourselves. Um, it really does just kind of like give me such a sense of confidence. Like see right there, I'm like, heck yeah, I'm strong. I'm doing this. I don't know how I'm doing it, but I am doing it. And then I moved on to kind of get Tripp's room situated this rocker is actually surprisingly heavy and really weird to move so that's fun we're just leaving him on this big mattress for now i have so many fun plans for this room i want to put like board and batten around the walls maybe do a wallpaper not really sure maybe just keep it white and neutral and then have more fun things in there but i have convinced myself that i'm gonna learn how to use all the power tools and cut all the wood and do the nail gun for all these things i don't know where i left off we were able to get the dresser in last night better figured out how to get the drawers out so we moved it in here last night and i have a mattress covering the window right now because i need to measure and order blinds um but i'm about to make this bed this is the guest bed we're gonna keep it in here we've decided we're gonna transition trip to a big boy bed he's been doing really well we're not gonna like buy one yet so we're just gonna have him on this queen size mattress in here and then the guest room will just be like storage for right now um and we'll slowly bring stuff out 
because we still are waiting on the kitchen. But yeah, so right now I'm going to get this set up and then hopefully the kids will go down for naps. But I've been Pinteresting all of the ideas for in here. I did find um, a bed that we're gonna do. Eventually we'll do two twin beds in here, but I guess Wes, that'll be like a long time from now. So we'll do one twin for trip and then crib situation for Wes in here until he's big enough for a big boy bed. I also might put him in the guest room. We don't know when we're actually making the transition, but right now Wes is still with us. But anyway, I'm gonna make this bed a little bit nicer and we still have to do rugs and I need a mop in here. And there's just a lot that needs to be done and I need to shower, so. I've been putting on my fake smile Even though I'm wasting time I don't want to be trapped in a box Trying to be like the rest when I'm not I just want to go my own way Gonna let the past burn down Cause honestly don't wanna be Stuck in boring conversations with you With you I'm gonna leave it all behind Find myself, I'm gonna This is our rug that was in our bedroom and it's 100% not staying in here. The chairs do not slide well on it and I just want something else. I can't wait to design this space and get rid of this probably 20 year old table that was a hand-me-down from my stepmom. But you know, we're working with it. And yeah, we just got this set up, getting a little bit more normal and that's it for today's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. See you in the next one.